What game are you playing? Filling Frank's head with these bullshit ideas? I can't hear you over the sound of the bubbles. Someone needs to punch you in the face. Here we go. It's gonna be huge. You gotta come see us tomorrow night. I promise we'll be bad Frank's not okay. Frank, come back! With all these issues, one hundred percent sanest cat I've ever met. <laughs> okay. No, I just thought the script was really interesting. I thought it was very sort of um, poignant and funny and uh, made me laugh out loud. And then, you know, it, there were some really touching moments in there as well. So I just was taken by that. There was a lot of freedom in sort of having a mask on. And it was a bit hot and sweaty and I couldn't really see very well. But it was, it was quite liberating, liberating as well, you know. I think it's a really unusual tone, and I think I didn't get it at first. I think I sort of thought, like, I, I think it's funny, I'm not quite sure, and um, it's the only time in my life I've ever passed on something and then come back and said, wait, I, I think I made a mistake, and I, I, I'd i like to do it if you'll still have it. Part of the reason I did it was because of him, because of Michael Fosbender, who I think is awesome, and, um, and I thought, like, our characters were going to be, uh, like, soulmates, you know, and then I get there and it wasn't kind of like that, and then I thought, oh, it's because he's wearing a huge fake head, and so what kind of idiot was I to think that my character and his character were going to be soulmates, you know, um, but that's, uh, that, that kind of disappointment, that kind of feeling, I think, does sometimes make people act mean. I also think it's much more something people can relate to, like trying to connect with someone who feels like they're wearing a big, huge head, than actually making a, actually having a you know like a soulmate here it is my most likable song ever coca-cola lipstick ring go dance all night dance all night kiss me just kiss me kiss me never die this is your most likable song ever <laughs> yeah people will love it